Josh Allen is going down the sideline for 61 and a touchdown. And, you know, uh, you guys responded right away. But that, that was the big thing. Well, what was the, the feeling as far as that goes when you saw him, you know, take that and say, boy, already they're on, they're on, it was 35 seconds they were on the score. So we knew he was a little bit back and he did what some people expected him to do. But as the offense, we saw him score and we know our defense can back us up. So as an offense, we came out. We knew we got a punch on the back in the mouth and we came out and that's what we did. And you had a good night throwing the, the football as well. Had a good night with a couple of TDs as well, rushing there to get that quarterback sneak in there for a, a couple of them. So you had to be happy with the, the way you, you know, your ball club, your offense, and yourself really perform tonight. Oh, absolutely. you got to give all the credit in our line to our backs and our receivers. They do it all and just make my job that much easier. How does it feel now when you, you look at this and you say, well, next week it's the Chamonix. It's a must win. The Chamonix tonight uh, giving North Penn all they could handle in that ball game. So you know they've improved since the beginning of the season. They played some tough competition early on. And you know, last year, I know you weren't here, but it turned out to be a 31-3 to thrashing. And that was really good in the Chamonix football team. And Bettenberry was like, they were young and maybe a year away. You know, the table has turned this year. you got to go over there now, and you know that they're reaching you the same thing you did to them a, a year ago. So they're, they're remembering that, and right now they're playing their best ball. Yeah, we know the Chamonix is playing very good ball. We just got to go over there and play our game like we came out today and come off the open eyes, explode the offense, and trust our defense to stop them. Yeah, you guys were playing extremely well offensively, and everybody was getting a hand in there and, and doing their jobs. I thought uh, tonight... It would be a tough one if Adams was here for four quarters, but I think the way you guys played, it wouldn't have mattered if he was there for the whole game. I think you were really up for this ball game, especially after coming off of that loss and, and a heartbreaking loss to North Bend. Yeah, we played really well as a team and as a unit. We feed off each other. The offense feeds off the defense, and the defense feeds off the offense. And best of luck to Josh Adams. In the and we, uh, we hope that he's going to be okay. And who knows, uh, if, if, if he's okay, you never know. Uh, there's a possibility he could meet him again in the, the playoffs. That you'll have to wait now. It's going to be kind of crazy, especially what happened to the Central Bucks West. Now some other teams are wondering whether or not they're going to get in or not. So that's going to be interesting, too. we got a couple of things for you here as well. And that would be, of course, a Varelli's Pizza from the Yardley Pizza, 20 South Main Street in Yardley. And, of course, we have uh, another thing for you here, too, to go with that. We'll have it for all the guys here. And, of course, this will be a hoagie as well as a bag of chips and a soda from Landolfi's Deli at 90 West Afton Avenue in the Yarnville Square Shopping Center there. And, Thank Mike you. Alley, great game tonight. And uh, you, good luck next week. We're, uh, we're going to be in for a real tussle. Have you ever played at Heartbreak Ridge before? I have not. Played. You have not. All right. You got a treat coming up for you next week. Thank Congratulations you, on, a, on a great ball game. Thank you. Mike Alley, one of our stars of the ball game for tonight for this ball club from Pennsbury to put on 55. To win it 55-7 over Central Buck South, a good Central Buck South football team. And we have now one of the defensive guys we wanted to be talking to here tonight, Joe Maurer. And Joe, I mentioned about the fact that you know, when I saw that you were down there and injured, I thought, oh my goodness, you were just having a, an overall really great ball game. I was hoping that maybe everything was okay. How do you feel? I feel you got great. some ice there. Yeah, I feel fine. A little bumps and bruises, you know, you get them every week. But uh, I feel great. I'm going to come back Monday and uh, be ready to go. But, uh, I mean, we came out, and like you said, we just took a tone, and I feel like the whole defense played a, uh, a fantastic game. Joe, tell us about, you know, what was the difference in this ball game compared to last week as far as your, the defensive ball club was concerned? Well, last week we came out a little slow. Uh, we were prepared. We thought we were prepared. We gave it everything we had. We were a little banged up, like I said. But uh, this week, I mean, we came out. We were focused all week. We knew we had to get it done this week. We came out, we gave it everything we had. We knew a lot was on the line, and we uh, had to get the job done. I feel like we did a great job tonight. Yeah, you certainly did. And, of course, you've got to be looking anxiously. Last year, you, you did a real good job against the Chamonix over here when they had that really strong football team, and you guys were young, and you beat them uh, pretty well. So going over there, I'm sure when you go into this one, you know, too, now, you've got the possibility of three teams being tied for the uh, Suburban One League National uh, Championship in this conference. But... Uh, 
it figures that we thought everything was going to be tight in this league, and you guys had, the, I thought, the toughest schedule at the end, four biggies in a row. You had to beat the Giants one right after another, and now you come up against your biggest arch rival against the Nishamity Ball Club. So, you know, you can get at least a share of the title by getting a victory, and that's got to spur you guys on a little bit, too, because you went undefeated in the league two years in a row. Yes, sir. We knew uh, <clears throat> this week coming up is going to be a big week. Um, Nishamity, they're nothing to... Uh, to joke about, they're a fantastic ball club, and especially going up the Heartbreak Ridge is uh, not an easy task. Like you said, they came down here last year, and uh, we stuck it to them pretty well, and we're hoping to do the same thing again this year. But um, they're, uh, we're going to prepare very well for them and practice very hard. Yeah, they're pretty versatile. They, you know, they, they've come along. Uh, Mason Jones has done a nice job for him getting his first year at quarterback. He's got some good ones in Hughes and Treadway and, and some others to throw to. And, of course, last year's player of the year in the state, uh, DeAndre Pollard. You know he wants to go out big with a, with a big Win. Yeah, we uh, they have some weapons. They have some weapons we got to prepare, but uh, I feel like our coaching staff will have us uh, well prepared and ready to go. And when uh, when it comes down to Friday night, we'll be ready to rock, rock and roll. Okay, we got a couple things for you too, just as we had there for Mike. And this is going to be, of course, the pizza from Borelli's Yardley Pizza, 20 South Main Street in Yardley. And then we'll have that hoagie, chips, and soda for you too. And that comes to you from Landolfi's Deli, 90 West Affin Avenue in Yardley, in the Yardville Square over there. Congratulations, you, Joe. A great ball game. Thank you, you very much. I, I, do you think that uh, this was your best this season? Do you think, as far as you personally? Well, I come out. You, and I get you my played best some real. Week. You you played some real good games. I I said I said tonight. You you just looked like you, you were you were after it tonight. You wanted this one bad, right? <laughs> Especially yeah. We knew it was gonna be a big week, but every week I give 100 percent, just like I know you today, do. So. And you showed it there again tonight. Well, Congratulations you, and good thank luck you. next week. Thank you very much. And then another guy who's 